10 years. During this event, I show you the exact step-by-step -step process to get these selections, give you a second system that again showed over 900 points profit on the jumps, and how to repeat this process easily for hundreds of systems on the flat, AW or jumps. And if you stay until the end, then I have something amazing to give you. Who is Malcolm? Well, I'm in Wiltshire in the UK. My, my occupation is I'm a web developer, software developer, and a systems developer. I came online in about 2002. Um, my special skills are website and database integration and automation. Since coming online in 2002, I've built over 100 websites for myself or clients, created 15 automated betting products, automated over 25 other people's products, and have created or helped create over 30 different betting systems. One is still being used by an insider club after six years. And as you've probably gathered, automation is my real passion. My dad, he was an engineer who built assembly production lines. I used to go and watch him work when I was younger. In fact, when I first left school, I worked with him. And I wonder if the whole idea of automation rubbed off on me. Here are some of the products I've created. This is Greyhorse Bot. This is our most popular bot. It's been going for about seven years. It's um, API approved by Betfair, um, and it works continually. You can use it on your own machine, on a VPS or whatever, and it will go for month after month and just continue to follow your criteria. And we've done a light version for those that didn't want all the big stuff that's in the, um, the full version. So we cut it down and made it a little bit easier to use. Um, Ultra Trader. This is um, an X Games bot for Betfair as well, another very, very popular product which has got loads of settings to automate X Games. Um, this is the URL bot which we call the new Grail spot which we're developing at the moment, which is going to be far, far easier to use and built on a new Betfair API. Um, then there's my own SBBS system builder. This is um, my own way of finding out selections. Um, using a database of horse racing information. This is a lifetime bonus upgrade for grey horse pot owners. Um, and finally, the SOS system, which I spent over 300 hours programming the system and I'm, I'm still working on it today and still adding in new features and stuff like that. And this is what this call is probably really about. Okay, so almost my entire career on the web has been about talk, taking ideas and automating them so that people like yourself don't have to spend all day watching the markets. So in this call I want to show you how it can be, how easy it can be to create systems and use them when you include automation. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do this by creating the systems I promised. Before we go into the details I want to address the, set, the five fundamental mistakes people make when creating betting systems. One, they do not base their systems on trends or statistical information. Two, the colour of a jockey's shirt won't matter. Three, how far they travelled is not a proper trend. And just because one horse ran better with a tongue piece doesn't mean they all will. A couple of months data is not enough. I, yep, I'm even guilty of this one myself, so the more data I can gather, the better. Although you can often pick up on upward trends happening now, often they won't last for long. Trends are recorded over years and as are statistics. You don't need years and years of data, but the more you've got, the better. The more data, the more information, and you know that's what we're after. Creating systems with information you cannot copy. The one I always tend to mention here is number of runners in a race. The only time you know how many runners are in a race is after the start. The in-play market, or bet on Betfair, or watching live, on telly or something like that will give you this. If you base a system on the number of runners, then you could be on dodgy ground because you don't know what it is until after the race has started. More horses are withdrawn than you would expect, and this could easily mess up your system's performance. Following a system all the time. Sounds a bit strange, but think about it. If you've created a system based on statistics that include every day of the week, then you have to follow it every day of the week to get the same results. If you don't think you can follow the system all the time, then you're going to have to have, or you're going to have to create a new system that you can. 
Up until I went fully automated with my systems, I would only follow systems Monday to Friday because I knew at weekends I would not be able to do it. And the fifth one is not recording the results and making sure you were getting or you are getting what you expect. Recording is a fundamental discipline of betting. It's easy to watch your bank go up and down, but watching it won't tell you why it's happening. Even just basic recording of results so you can look at your strike rate, average price or return on investment will give you an edge over a lot of other people. Once you watch this system being built, you will see how we have eliminated all of these five issues. Okay, before we start, I must just make one point very, very clear. I am going to show you how to create this system using the SOS2 interface. But while creating the system, I'm going to blank out the individual alerts, just why I create it, because I don't want to show people that are not paying members all the criteria that we have for members. But as promised, I will let you have the 10 jockeys and eight courses I used at the end of this presentation. Okay, stay with me while I switch screens. Just bear with me. <clears throat> Sorry, I should have um I should have got that ready a bit before, but I didn't. Okay. So here's the standout stats interface. Okay, so um I can show you a little bit. We've got um, course backs, course lays, trainer backs, trainer lays, jockey backs and jockey lays. They're the main um, six sections of the website we, we deal with. So if we go to course back, as you can see, we can see CD win winners with a maximum odds of 5 to 1. Course winners, um, course winners non-handicap, that sort of thing. Um, so the system basically finds these for us every day by looking at the daily races. These are what we call um, alerts. And as you can see, I've got an alert set here which is going to tell me um, when th there's something running that I've set an alert for. Um, alerts <clears throat> I found over here and um, we search them here. Okay, so um, this is the basic page. Now I'm going to just switch this page, page quickly to my new page um, just so you can see, right, so I've got rid of um, the criteria I've shown you a little bit, obviously when I've when I've swapped over, but I don't really want to, as I go through this video, show you all. So basically, you can go through course backs, course lays, um, jockey backs, and um, and find those are criteria about um, specific parts. So you know it might be when the distance is seven furlongs or it could be course winners or beaten favorites or certain jockeys and stuff like that and that's exactly what we're going to deal with today now you can split this up between aw and jumps and flats so if you if you've done that all you do is get flat races and then so you can build systems based on very specific type of um, terms so you can do it based on strike rate so we could say profit greater than 10 um, and we'd, we'd cut down the selections. Okay. In this case, we're going to go for jockey backs, and we're going to look at profit. But we're going to look at profit over 60. Okay. Now, here we go. If you go down, um, so we've gone profit on the flats over 60. Now, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There, there's ten courses. Okay. If we put that up to 70. Okay. And um, that cuts it down to the 944, I promise you. And there's the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 courses. And that actually adds up to um, 10 jockeys altogether. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So as I said, at the end of the, um, at the, end of the um, seminar or the webinar, I will give you the, um, the, the complete system okay now what I'm going to do is just add these few to my alerts okay um, and as you can see these are all under my alert set one um, you can change that so I could create a new alert set um, called two 
and put them under there instead. You can have as many alert sets as you can, which means that you can actually um, really narrow down exactly what you want your alerts to be um, to be gathered with. This makes makes building your systems really, really um, good because you can just say, right, I only want um, selections by this one jockey or this one trainer or whatever, and you can build an alert just around that. Um, and the system will automatically alert you. Um, I'll show you what I mean because if we go to alerts, okay, um, and these are the my jockey back alerts, and as you can see, um, there they are there. And if I went to jockey backs, and you can see I haven't actually got any alerts today because none of those are actually running. So um, we can't actually test that one. But what I will do is I will show you on this one, this distance winner. There's actually um, if I've got any other alerts. I should have thought about this before. Oh, whatever. Train lays. We've got one set on the train lay. So if we went to um, alerts and went down to train uh, lays, which is this one here, we take this alert set um, link, and as you can see, it's got one more one. Don't bother about trying to copy that link because it will be replaced very shortly. Um, and then what I do is next, I'm going to change to the Grail spot to show you how quickly and easily that's done. So you have to bear with me again because um, I'm trying to figure out how you do this. <laughs> the problem is you can only test these live. Um, where's my bot? It's not showing my bot. Hmm. OK, so here's the bot. OK, now. Um, I'm going to log in because I forgot to log in before I started this. Okay, so just bear with me while I do it. The software doesn't really like this, so hold on a second. Getting all locked up. Oh, shit. Okay, I can't actually log in because I didn't realise that once you're running it. But what I will show you, okay, if I can shut this down somehow. Um, which I'm not sure. This is really caused an issue. It doesn't seem to like running software. Ah, got it. Okay, so if we go to options. Okay, I'm going to show you how easy this is. Well, I'm not actually because it just doesn't seem to like it. But basically... Um, I'm sorry about this on the webinar because obviously I didn't know. If you go to options, you just have to go to a URL, um, which I really can't show you because it's obviously um, the webinar software we're using doesn't like using software. Um, but there's basically just this one box and you just paste that URL into the one box and then just press start and then that's it. That's all you have to do. It's basically that easy and I'm really sorry that's mucked up. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Um, I've been running through this webinar, obviously, to learn it, but I haven't been able to run it live because you can't run a webinar live if you're not um, doing it. So, but um, anyway, so what I do is I go back to the um, the Google um, Hangout, which I think I've now stopped. Ah, there we are. Sorry. <laughs> that sounds a bit terrible. Okay. So, um, I'll go back to the, um, the script. God, that's so embarrassing. Um, so, okay, stay with me while I switch screens. Um, we've done that bit. <laughs> um, I am really sorry about that, but anyway.
So as you can see, we created two systems in no time at all. Oh, I forgot to have create the other system for you as well, didn't I? God, I am useless today. Let me just do that. Um, because God, I'm feeling like a right right amateur at the moment. Uh, where's my C? You just seem to lose things with them um, when you're using this. So we go over here. I think that's it. Um, as you can see, I was trying to figure out where we were. Okay, so the other alert is jockey backs as well. Um, okay, so we go back to search and just change this quickly to my search. Um, so we know which one we're looking at. Okay, so we're going to stick um, with jockeys. And um, we're going to give you another one, which I wrote down here somewhere. And again... I lost it. So I'm just going to find it now because I was talking to, I was going through the system the other day and um, I found this one and I think it's a really cool one and I'm just going to get it for you. Um, okay, it was a jump system I promise. So basically we go back to the jumps, okay. Um, and I have a funny feeling that it was like over 60 points profit, 50 points profit. Um, I think that's the one. No. See so yeah, how much profit you can do here. I'm not going to give you that one. You've got to be a member to get that one. This is pretty similar to it, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, it was around this one. Um, again, I'll leave it. I, I've, I've put it into your manual. But again, well, there's 5,000 there. So it's probably, a, I think, it, um, sorry, 5,000. There's 1,000 points there. I think we were talking about, um, sorry, this is how, how good you can drill down. I think that's it's somewhere around that, 65, 60 points. I've, I've put it in the PDF at the end anyway. But again, you know that's how easily you can you can look at systems and add them up, and I promise you that, and I'll I'll give you that at the end as well. So um, with all the bits and pieces, all the jockeys that you have to follow, and the courses and, and why you need to follow those jockeys. I mean, you can see there that that's something to do with two miles, and that's something to do with handicap, and that's like when something or other. So <laughs> I've just blanked them out for this video, but that's basically how they work. Okay, so um, let's go back uh, to the presentation. Um, which I will get to now. I'm getting better at this. Okay, so as you can see, we created two systems in no time at all. Okay, stay with me. I've gone back. Um, but that's only half the story. And then I went on to show you Grail Spot. Now let me show you how to automate the whole process, which was what I wanted to do with the Grail Spot, which I've messed up. Sorry. Okay, so you have seen now how you can create systems in no time flat. Well, you saw that with SOS. It was dead easy to do, no time at all. And we had two systems. Okay. Do you remember the five fundamental mistakes? Well, we talked about this just before we went over to standout stats. People make when building systems. They do not base their systems on trends or statistical information. We talked about that. Standout stats is built on statistical information, and we have selected over 1,200 trends for you to follow. So each of those um, selections in there that I were looking at you are actually trends. We we call them alerts or trends, and when we base more than one trend together, so two or, or whatever, we call that a system. So 10 trends together would be a, a new system. That's the way we look at it. So there's plenty of trends, over 1,200. In fact, I think there's 1,344 or something. But I put 1,200 because it was it, it was a good number. <laughs> I mean, it, it's a lot higher. 1,244, I think, something close to that. Anyway. Um, a couple of months later is not enough. Um, well, Standout Stats is built on 10 years of real horse racing data, so you can't argue with that. Creating systems with information, information you cannot copy. SOS Friends has been specifically selected because they can be copied every day. We actually, the, 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 um, the, we've only used trends where we can, we can look at the database of the, the daily races in the morning and select, select those races. So, you know, We've, we've been very careful over that so that, you, you know, your trends are there and they can be used every day. Follow a system all the time. Well, with the special alert links and the grey hole spot, you never have to miss a selection. I mean, you can run it seven days a week, every month, every year. It just runs and runs and runs. has been for years. We've got systems running for ages. The only time you have to reset... Um, I'm going to have a quick sip of coffee. 
The only time you have to reset is if Betfair really go down big time and the bot can't recover. But it's got recovery systems built into it so that if it's just a glitch or if you lose internet and that sort of thing, it will recover from it. And not recording the results and making sure you were getting what you expect. Grail Spot automatically records your selections, the price, and your profit and loss. So you've got no excuse, it's all there for you. So with SOS2 and the Grail Spot, you have a powerful combination. But there was one further fundamental point that I did not mention. Finding a system or systems that suit you is important. What do I mean by this? Well, there are three things that will determine if you are likely to be successful following the system or not. One is stake size, two is stake type, and three is the amount of losing runs. They will all have a fundamental, um, a fundamental bearing on how successful a system is and how it works for you. SO2 is brilliant, I mean it really is brilliant, but the people who are most successful with it are the ones that understand getting those things right are paramount to success. If you look at all the reviews and everything else we've done, it's all the people that are really successful are the ones that take the system, accept that there probably are a couple of limitations here and there, and but have worked with it and come up with the systems, although it's really quite easy to do, it's just that you need to think about how running a system. You could go in there and run every single system. That's going to cost you a lot of money and some people don't think about that. You know, there's losing runs and there's um, big price losers and things like that. You have to be aware of all that. Um, so it's important that you do it. Now I'm not trying to put you off, but that's why we decided to create the SOS2 live training days. We are going to give a limited number of people the chance to come over to Essex and spend a day with me James at BST, BST, Kevin at BST, and Ross from FL Software. The work to work out a personal plan based on your own personal circumstances. Okay, James and Kevin, you probably already know from Betting Systems Truth. James' main site has re reviewers who test systems and then rate them on their performance. Coffee again. I don't want it to get cold. Kevin works with James. And I work with him closely when building SOS2. Ross, the northerner, as I like to call him fondly, I, I've got uh, relatives in, who are northern, so you know I'm very fond of northerners, is the creator of FL Software. Ross and I are pretty similar, not in build. I have no muscle, he has loads, in that we like automation and we like creating systems. He created FL Software, as I said, and um, that is an automated uh, system as well. Um, this is a one one no pitch webinar. Um, sorry, one no pitch webinar we did together. Me and Ross really got rave reviews, especially when people started making money with the system Ross gave away, totally free on that call. It was just all about this one system that he created. So you know you are in pretty good hands if you come to this one day event. The idea is to use the SOS platform, which you will get free for a year, to create systems just like I did earlier. You saw that but specially tailored to suit you. Some of the event will be one-to-one, -one, some will be in groups, but all of it is planned to give you everything you need. Here is exactly how the, the event will un unfold. If you come by train or bus, we will pick you up at the station and bring you to the event. That's a chauffeur or one of us. Uh, there's James's card. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, you'll be taken here. This is where we're holding the event. Um, it's a really smart place. And about ten, so about 10 a.m., we will give everyone a questionnaire. It will take five to ten minutes to fill out. These are really easy questions, but they will give us an insight into the best types of systems to create for you and with you. Because we're going to show you how to do that. We hope attendees will realise that this will also help them discover what systems suit them the best. We we'll go through all that on the day. The first group discussions will then take place, telling you all about the day, giving you a full understanding of what we want to achieve during the day. I think that's an important part. Next, we will start training you to use SOS and GHB Lite, which you will also get free for a whole year. We will show you how to use each system and how to make them work together. This will include useful extra trainer on GHB Lite to get the most from the features that are in it. We will also be able to show you them working live throughout the day. 
While this training is taking place, we will also be talking individually to you about your answers to the questionnaire. This is where it gets exciting. While training on SAS2, we, will, we can also show you how to create systems that will suit you. That's what the whole day is about at the end of the day. We will take you through different alerts showing you, showing you why they may or may not suit you. This will take us up to lunch. You're going to need a good lunch supplied by Vicky, James's wife, because the afternoon is going to be pretty busy. Okay, after lunch we will be the first of three special talks. There will be the first of three special talks about the fundamentals of betting. These have been created especially to give a good understanding of all the key areas of online betting. I will be bringing along facts and figures from my own testing and my own personal database. After lunch, we will be the first, or there will be the first of three special talks about the fundamentals of betting. Each talk will be based around what we have learned since we have been online, things that you should look out for and be aware of. We will then go into our first group question and answer session, but you will also get the chance to ask personal questions on a one-to-one -one basis. That's important. If you don't want to get involved in the group sessions for your question, then we will be on one-to-one -one and we will talk to you as much as possible throughout the day on a one-to-one -one basis. We will try to have as many QA sessions as we can because we want to make sure that you leave knowing everything you need to know. I mean, this is really, you know, getting to grips with everything. We should be ready to wrap up around 5 p.m. if all goes well, but we will be starting the barbecue then, so you can stick around and pick our brains some more if you wish. So it's going to be a really relaxed but quite intensive day. Well, exactly what I said here is I suppose you could call it relaxed, intensive training. But I must stress our priority is to give you a plan that you can take away and use immediately. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, I will also be taking along my own personal bonuses for all attendees. Three really cool systems, and I'm going to be launching an insiders club soon based around systems developed using my SBS system builder. And you can get it free for a whole year, valued at around four to five hundred pounds. This is a great opportunity for anyone who really wants to find the best systems that suit them and then automating them. It is a complete day's training to achieve a complete plan that you can follow and grow with. So just to recap, you're going to get one full year's membership to SOS2, 297 quid. That's what it's worth. A full one year's membership to GHB Lite at £97. Free of the original, sorry, free all all the original 79 SOS PDFs, just in case you want to go through them. You're going to get, get collected from the station if you need a chauffeur. You're going to get one day's interactive training as described. That's got to be at least worth 297 quid as well. A tailor-made plan set in motion, at least another 297. I mean, we're going to really come up with a plan for you. Lunch, coffees, teas and snacks, I don't know how much they're worth. And a barbecue and beers on the terrace if you fancy it afterwards. And my own personal bonuses, worth at least 400 probably more than that. That's a cool £1,388 worth of content without including the show for driven car and lunch and BBQ. Or barbecue. Why do I say BBQ? But we are not charging anywhere near that. Interested? Okay, here is the link to check the price and if there are any places left. It's HTTP colon forward slash forward slash ghblight.co.uk forward slash live dot asp don't forget places are limited so you may want to check out the link before all places have gone here it is again http colon forward slash that's ghblight all one word dot co dot uk forward slash live dot asp ghblight dot co dot uk forward slash live dot ASP. Just leave it there for a second. Okay, so that's the link. There may be places still um, available. They are going quickly and I'm hoping this webinar will just fill it up and that will be the end of it. Well, I hope to meet you at the event. Okay, if you have been waiting around for the system information, here it is. I created you a PDF so you can download all the information you need. Both systems are in the PDF. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash ghb light dot co dot uk again and then it's free sos dot pdf r f sorry f r e e s o s dot pdf thank you for taking the time to watch this webinar here is what we covered 
a 10 jockey and seven course system that produced over 99, 944 points, another system that gave you another 900 points, the five fundamental mistakes people make when creating systems and how to solve those um, five fundamental mistakes, three things that would determine if you're likely to be successful following a system or not and how to solve that. And I've given you a PDF showing you the complete systems I promised. I really hope you enjoyed this webinar and I also really hope that you will join me at the SOS2 live event. Here is the link again in case you missed it. I'm just going to have a sip of coffee. Thank you again for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.